Chuck Lowe, what's up, YouTube boy DDP, and today I am back with another video. Today we are reacting to the 2024 XXL freshman class reveal. Oh my god, bro, XXL. It's like y'all wanted to keep us in the dark for mad long. I'm like, yo, I didn't got... bro, today is June... What's today again? My full son. It is June 24th. It's like they wanted... Like, y'all was going to take y'all to the very last minute possible to drop this list. I'm like, bro, we were supposed to get this list from May. Like, mid-May. Late May, even. But damn, Double XL, what, what, what's, what's going on? Was somebody struggling for that 10th spot? Huh? Because, bro, what the f... It took y'all forever to do this. Like, bro, what's going on? But, hey, the wait is over. Let's see who made the list. Being from the hood, how we looked up to the freshmen, they were like, okay, four bats. This is something that I pray for. Almost like late May. To see something that I can see. Richard May, I had to see Richard May. It was a blessing. I'm grateful. It's a big thing. Whoa, oh, okay, hold on. They just, they just threw all those at me. Hold on, let me go back. See something Richard that I Mary. grew up with to be a part of that thing. It was a blessing. All right, Big X the plug. He got a really, he got a, I'm not gonna lie, a nice catalog worth of songs. You know what I'm saying? He. You know what I'm saying? He be stuck. Damn, my nigga. As I was saying before, I was also rudely interrupted. Uh, Big S the plug. He got a nice catalog with the music. You know what I'm saying? I be, I be guessing myself listening to him from time to time. And Duke can rap his ass off. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I fought with this. Big Who else? Boss man D -Lo. Please do not get run off with that. You might get killed. And I, yeah, this nigga's tough. I ain't gonna lie to you. This nigga's tough. And I didn't heard a lot of stuff about. It. You know what I'm saying? Um, not about not about him from his mute. Um, a lot of his music. That's what I'm trying to say, bro. This nigga, once again, another nigga who could rap his ass off. Like he he got the talent, bro. I don't think I've heard a bad verse from him yet. I'm grateful. It's a big thing. Mexican History, OT. Man. Okay, whoa. Like I said, they're going too fast. Mexican OT. Another person who could rap his ass off. But him and B Big X the plug. They should really. I think they have done a song together, but they should hop on more song together if they. They have, if they have it, they should hop on the song together, bro. Because they got a great, they sounds are very similar, and they can like really do something with it. I saw Huncho. Huncho been a, gay, a name that's been rising up, like in rap lately. You know, what I'm saying in the past year, year and a half. You know, what I'm saying especially since he dated Keisha Cole earlier this year. I'm pretty sure they're still together. I saw the little thing online where he went back to his ex and shit. I'm like, nah, come on, bro. Come on, bro. And I see one, see one shorty was like, "Damn, bro, Keisha Cole been getting cheated on since I was since I was born." That's, it. That's true. But we're not talking about Keisha Cole. Uh, who was? I think Cash was next to him. All right. Now, Cash Cobain. I don't know how to put it, bro. He, he not a bad rapper. He a good rapper. I'm not gonna lie to you. He a good rapper. The nigga makes good music. You know, say like good music, good vibe too. Like, who's he just like rum punch? Hit him mm, lunch, lunch. Mm, 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 mm. I just made it come twice. You gonna make it come? Or like, bro, that shit is tough, my nigga. Please don't copyright me, YouTube. But, bro, his shit is tough, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Not only that, the nigga makes great beats. Beats, right? The the way I think about an artist, how are you gifted as an artist? You know what I'm saying? I think of it as, are you a single artist, or are you a feature artist, or are you both? Right? Cash. As for, as for features right now, he's done good. I'm not gonna lie. I've heard him feature on a few songs, shaking it with um, BK the Ruler. He's on a couple. Um, he's on a song with Don Tolliver recently. Attitude with Charlie Wilson, great verse. He uh, delivered. A, he delivered a great verse. It was short, but it was still good. Um, who else songs has he ever heard him on? Anicia, you know what I'm saying. Um, but, but that's just to name a few features that I've heard him on and that he's actually done good on. And as a feature artist, I think he's great. Great. He's doing great. He's killing the features right now. As a single artist, the nigga also is killing it. Like, he's killing it. Consistent with the feature. I mean, not with, the, um, with his singles. Right? But as a producer, my nigga. As a producer, he's phenomenal. Right? I have a nickname for him. Right? And it's, it might be glazing. But for Cash, bro, the nickname I got for him is Sample Demon, bro. Because this man will find any and everything to sample, bro. And he will make it sound good, bro. He got this one unreleased song, bro. Um, Of Blame It On The Goose. 
Um, sorry. Blame it on the deuce, bro. <sighs> Jay, he got this un one unreleased. This one unreleased one that I cannot find nowhere. SoundCloud, online, Dropbox, nothing, bro. I can't find it nowhere. Nobody has this unreleased. He played it on Talil's stream. It's called, um, it was a remix of Blame It On from Jamie's, um, uh, from Jamie Foxx featuring um, T-Pain, bro. And when I tell you this nigga broke the song down, reconstructed it, and just added a few more things, he didn't do too much to the beat. He added too much to it. He kept it as close as he could to the original and added a few of his own little touches there. And he made it sound phenomenal, right? So Cash, I, I believe he deserved this spot, but I hope in the um in the cipher he doesn't you know what I'm saying he doesn't actually he could he could rap I really wouldn't care but I hope he makes the beat as well because one thing about him he doesn't just make the same type of beat he can cater to any artist you know what I'm saying but I've been yapping on about him so if you become a freshman you made it being a freshman Scarlet great choice she been rapping her ass off lately i remember those videos on tiktok where she was literally on her the barn where she was at not the barn the farm and i was like yo she could rap she was rapping over all the drill beats and stuff the k flock beats and shit like and i'm, I'm glad she this made it beginning the first door that i gotta open bro what i'm supposed to do i'm here she's been doing the for the skill fire. baby okay he's been yeah, doing his shit get too on the train or get hit by one all right maya the dawn i ain't really heard that much from her you know what i'm saying i ain't really heard that much from her you know what I'm saying? So, I can't really speak on, like, how I feel about her on this list. But I hope, you know what I'm saying, she could pleasantly surprise me. I, one thing about um, XXO, whenever they drop a list of people, whether I listen to them or not, I always end up listening to them after, like, they made the list. So, I can, like, give them a chance to see why they made the list type shit. Lady Banks, she dropped, like, she dropped, she been going crazy the past year. I ain't gonna lie to you. She been going crazy last year, so I can, I can see why she made this spot. Kill a baby too, you know what I'm saying? He in demand right now. Cash, I really hope you produce some of these, most of these beats, if not all of them. You know what I'm saying? Before this comes off the stream. So, how would I rate this double XL 2024's list, bro? I'd honestly, let's really, all right. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not, what the fuck, can I not count? That's four, five, three, four, five, ten. All right, there's 11 people here. 11 artists, 11 spots. So uh, I'm gonna go 11 out of 11. You know what I'm saying? Who deserves to be here? Lay Banks, I'll give it to her. Yeah, she deserves to be here. One out of 11. Maya to Don, I can't really speak on that, so. I haven't heard none of her music, so I can't really speak on like if she deserves to be here or not. So I'm gonna I'm a pass on it right now. Big X the plug. This nigga, yes. That's 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 two for eleven. Huncho, yes. Skilla baby, yes. That's four for eleven. Cash, one hundred percent. Five for eleven. Ot, yes. Amari, yes. Boss Mandilo, yes. What is that? That's nine for eleven right now. Four bats, yes. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. He got something different about him. His voice makes him unique, bro. Scarlet, 100% yes, bro. I see her come from humble beginnings to fucking, um, what's it called? Linking up with Busta Rhymes and basically, not, 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 you know what I'm saying? But like, basically, you know, you know, be a family with that nigga type shit, right? But I'm gonna definitely check out some of Maya the Dong songs because if she made this list, it's not coincidence, but she gotta be good. Look at the people she's surrounded by as artists. Like, Lay Banks, she, she mostly makes TikTok, song, TikTok songs, but that's not bad. Making TikTok songs is not bad. If your shit go viral, bro, it goes viral, my nigga. That means your, your music is in demand to a certain type of audience, my nigga. And if, if it works for her, it works for her. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. But Maya the Don, I do got to check out her stuff. Um, after Everybody else here, I've heard music from. So... You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. I just say, feel yeah, like now I'm standing. The beginning of a new era. It's so success. Facts. Grammy nomination. Whatever you think I'll pass out of. Because I'm going to be in action. What you care? Okay, okay. But hey, this list, I'm going to try to end this quick because I just yapped on through that whole video. The video was one minute and now this video was like 12. Um, 
bro, W list. Honestly, W list. Like I said, I gotta check out Maya the Dawn's music because I haven't heard nothing from her. Like not one thing. Not not no TikTok man. Maybe that's just because that's just because you know what I'm saying. My um my preference in music is different. You know what I'm saying. My my shit my shit is always changing. One day I'm listening to Opium and Cardi, Homicide Gang, and and, and, and all these other you know what I'm saying. Art um like dark artists, punk rock artists, I mean punk rap artists, and then next day I'm listening to Don Tolliver, then next day I'm listening to Uzi, then next day I'm listening to Todd the Creator, then next day I'm listening to Forbats, like my shit is, and then next day I'm listening to um, Kendrick Lamar, they not like us, they not like us, they not like us, like my shit is always changing day to day, bro, and then I'm listening to Drill, you know what I'm saying, Drill Rap, New York Drill Rap, like then I'm listening to UK niggas. Like I said, my shit is always changing. But hey, if y'all enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I love y'all. How do y'all feel about this lip? About this list? Drop what y'all think in the description. Not description. Sorry, in the comments. Eleven out of is it an eleven out of eleven list, or is it, or is it like zero? Like, what do y'all think, bro? You know what I'm saying? I just want I want your honest opinion. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I love y'all. I am out. Peace.